did have to dodge more than a few raindrops today. At times, there was a real mm -hmm. deluge, and that forced some exhibitors to scramble to find higher ground. That's right. News Channel Line's Rob Hackford heads to the sheep barn to show us how they dealt with the downpours. It's almost a guarantee every year that there's one full day of rain. It appears to be this Wednesday. Now, it has affected attendance. Certainly, numbers are down at the State Fair today. But other than that, vendors and animal owners are making do. Some are planning ahead, and others are making on-the-fly adjustments. While it is a temporary home, it's had its fair share of issues. The pens are different. The, the show ring is not enclosed. And the rain isn't making anything better. Instead of hay lining this year's sheep tent, you'll find sandbags and plenty of soggy wool. Well, the first Wednesday we were here, the flat, this whole side here flooded. And you can see where it rained today that these pens are over here are also flooded. So the first group that was here actually had to move to the other side where it is drier. The fair dumping gravel to get the tent on higher ground, it still isn't the same as the old sheep barn, which was damaged back in January. And the rain did blow in, whereas we didn't have that problem in the barn where we were before. But a little water never hurt the animals. Marsha's just hoping for better conditions next year. At the fairgrounds, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. And the State Fair is planning to build a new sheep barn and a wool center for next year's fair. So dealing with the rain mm. in 2020, I think that's going to be a lot easier, Carrie. Absolutely. A, a whole new facility. 